Welcome to ranking every common car and drive ahead, so let's get into it. Number 31 is the Snow Racer. This is the worst car in the game because of its just obvious lack of height advantage. It's really flimsy. It does have winter tires, though. Number 30 is the Shopping Cart. This car is also really bad. It's right there with the Snow Racer. It just doesn't stay upright well. And it's really small, obviously. It just has a little bit more stability than the Snow Racer and a tiny bit more height. Number 29 is the Sleigh. Now the Sleigh has just a little bit more protection than the last two cars. It also has winter tires so it goes faster on icy maps like this one. Uh, it's just not a good car at all. It has a really lack of height advantage. Now number 28 is the Kick Sled. This car has really weird aerodynamics and just terrible protection. But the weird dynamics can sometimes be good. Number 27 is the go-kart. This car is pretty fast and it has the godspeed trait which makes fire come on its head when it goes forward fast. And that means it just can't be hit. But other than that, it's just a terrible car. Number 26 is the penguin slider. This car actually has pretty decent actual air control. You can get it to where you want it to go. It's really fast on uh, icy maps because it has winter tires, and it also floats in water, which gives you a pretty good advantage in sudden death. Number 25 is the motocross bike. This car has an insane booster on the back, and it makes it one of the faster cars in drive ahead. It's just really flimsy. Number 24 is the skater cow. This car is extremely flimsy, no stability whatsoever. It does have sort of a height advantage, but a disadvantage is it can also get eaten by certain other cars, which just gives you a human to run around with. Number 23 is the baby carriage. This car actually has really good protection. It's just his wheels are kind of weird and unstable. It makes you bounce around a lot and you can't really control where you go that well. If it had some more speed, it'd actually be a really good car. Number 22 is the soccer delivery. Now, this car kind of sucks. The soccer balls constantly hit your head while you're driving around. And it's just not fast. Number 21 is the rowboat. This car can float, and it actually has pretty decent speed for a boat car. It's just really small. So you can't really get over other cars that well in order to hit them. But the floating advantage is good. Number 20 is the quad. It's not too fast, but it actually does have a decent height advantage over some smaller cars. It's basically kind of just an average car. Number 19 is the Piranha. This car is good because I'm pretty sure it has an armor trait. So it can't be affected by knockback, and it floats, and sometimes other cars can get caught in the mouth of this car. But it does not have good protection on top at all. Number 18 is the Weevil. This is another one of those just kind of average cars. It does not have good protection, and it's just average speed, and it's also really small, so that's kind of why it's so low on this list. Overall, just not a great car. Number 17 is the snowy car. This car is pretty slow, even on uh, icy maps. It does have winter tires, but it doesn't do much. It has good back protection, but it also has really terrible front protection. And it's just kind of low to the ground, so it's a disadvantage. Number 16 is the snowmobile. Now, this car has like a good little front. I guess it's a ski thing. I don't know what it's called. Uh, it has winter tires, but the ski thing can kind of knock opponents back and you can bounce off of it. So it's a little better than some of the other cars behind it on its list. Number 15 is the motorbike. This car is pretty fast and has good air control. Now, it can be really good if you just want to land on a car's head that's pretty enclosed. And it's actually really stable. And you can do cool flips with it and stuff in the air, even though that doesn't help you in a real fight. Now, number 14 is the off-roader. This car has pretty good front and back protection because of the windshield in the back trunk on the car. 
so you can kind of rush cars with it it's just too short to actually be able to get up to most cars number 13 is the steel crab this car is really good protection but it also flips over pretty easily so it doesn't have enough protection to go upside down which can be really unfortunate in some situations but if you're in the battle arena it's pretty good number 12 is the hot rod now this car is pretty fast it actually has decent front protection its back protection is bit pretty bad and its height is also bad but its speed and its front protection make it so it can go head on at cars 11 is the bumper car this car is a really cool effect where it bounces off other cars so that makes it pretty good as a defensive car or if you just want to get away so that's its main qualities it just can bounce around and it has pretty good front and back protection as well number 10 is the roadster this car is the godspeed trait and it actually has really good protection its only problem is that it has a ramp to its face so that can make it kind of bad sometimes but overall it's a pretty good car number nine is the snowsicle this car has really good front protection and it kind of has raised wheels on the front, so it can get over smaller cars, which makes it super, super useful because most people do use smaller cars. Um, but yeah, it's just a really good car overall because of its front. Number eight is the Robo Bike. This car is really flimsy because of its front tire, how it's built. But that can actually be pretty useful sometimes because you can bounce around and also use the tire to get into places where other cars can't. But overall, it's a pretty good car. It just doesn't have great stability. Now, number seven is the Antique Formula. This is the first car you ever get and drive ahead, and it's actually a pretty good one as far as common cars go. It has really good front protection and stability, and it's kind of just an average speed car. I don't know. I guess it's basically an average car. Six is the sports bike. This is one of the fastest, if not the fastest car in drive ahead because of its insane booster. That can be super useful for ramming enemies and just rushing people head on. And it actually has really good front protection. So it's like the snowsicle, but with a turbo. Number five is the antique automobile. This car is a really good defensive car because of its protection in the front and back. And it actually is pretty fast too. The only problem is it's kind of a narrower car, which what I mean by that is the wheels are really close together. So it can tip over kind of easily, but it's great. Number four is the brass bike. This car I believe is slightly faster than the sports bike. And it's just a little bit wider too, so that's why I put it higher on the list. It's super good at rushing enemies, and it has really, really good front protection. So that's basically why it's number four on this list. Number three is the Fossil. Now this car is one of the most commonly car cars used in Battle Arena. It's really flimsy, and the head can sometimes get bent back and stuck. But its front protection is really good, and so is its speed. And you can actually bounce around with it in order to get up on taller cars and hit them too. And it's just one of the bigger common cars, so that's why it's higher on this list. Number two is the sports car. This car is basically just like an average formula car. It has the Godspeed ability, so obviously it's really fast. And you can go under cars with it to escape without getting hit. So that makes it really good, and also you can pull a wheelie with it to get up on top of taller cars and get their heads without getting hit. Number one is the Amphibian. Now, I know this is going to be really controversial, but this car is actually super good. It has a propeller on the back, and it kind of skids off the ground and makes it jump in the air, and it also has an insane knockback effect on other cars. And on top of all that, it floats, so you're fine if you fall into water. So that's why it's the best common car in the game. But anyway, make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.